The Czechoslovak Socialist Republic Czech and Slovak, Seskoslovenska Socialistika Republika, CSSR ruled Czechoslovakia from 1948 until 23 April 1990, when the country was under communist rule. Formally known as the Fourth Czechoslovak Republic, it has been regarded as a satellite state of the Soviet Union. Following the coup d'état of February 1948, when the Communist Party of Czechoslovakia seized power with the support of the Soviet Union, the country was declared a People's Republic after the 9 May Constitution became effective. The traditional name Seskoslovenska Republika Czechoslovak Republic was changed on of July 1960 following implementation of the 1960 Constitution of Czechoslovakia as a symbol of the final victory of socialism in the country, and remained so until the Velvet Revolution in Czechoslovakia. Several other state symbols were changed in 1960. Following the 1989 Velvet Revolution, the CSSR was renamed to the Czech and Slovak Federative Republic. Topic. Name The official name of the country was the Czechoslovak Socialist Republic. Conventional wisdom suggested that it would be known as simply the Czechoslovak Republic. Its official name from 1920 to 1938 and from 1945 to 1960. However, Slovak politicians felt this diminished Slovakia's equal stature, and demanded that the country's name be spelled with a hyphen i.e. Czechoslovak Republic", as it was spelled from Czechoslovak independence in 1918 until 1920, and again in 1938 and 1939. President Havel then changed his proposal to, "...Republic of Czechoslovakia", a proposal that did not sit well with Czech politicians who saw reminders of the 1938 Munich Agreement, in which Nazi Germany annexed a part of that territory. The name also means, "...land of the Czechs and Slovaks." While Latinized from the country's original name, the Czechoslovak Nation, upon independence in 1918, from the Czech endonym Sesi, via its Polish orthography, the name Czech derives from the Czech endonym Sesi via Polish, from the archaic Czech Sekove, originally the name of the West Slavic tribe whose Premyslid dynasty subdued its neighbors in Bohemia around AD 900. Its further etymology is disputed. The traditional etymology derives it from an eponymous leader Czech who led the tribe into Bohemia. Modern theories consider it an obscure derivative, e.g. from Sita, a medieval military unit. Meanwhile, the name, Slovak, was taken from the Slavic, Slavs, as the origin of the word Slav itself remains uncertain. During the state's existence, it was simply referred to, Czechoslovakia, or sometimes the, CSSR, and CSR in short topic history topic background before the soviet liberation of czechoslovakia in 1945 edvard benes the czechoslovak leader agreed to soviet leader joseph stalin's demands for unconditional agreement with soviet foreign policy and the benes decrees while Benes was not a Moscow cadre and several domestic reforms of other Eastern Bloc countries were not part of Benes' plan, Stalin did not object because the plan included property expropriation and he was satisfied with the relative strength of communists in Czechoslovakia compared to other Eastern Bloc countries. In April 1945, the Third Republic was formed, led by a national front of six parties. Because of the Communist Party of Czechoslovakia's strength and Benes' loyalty, unlike in other Eastern Bloc countries, the Kremlin did not require Bloc politics or «reliable» cadres in Czechoslovak power positions, and the executive and legislative branches retained their traditional structures. The Communists were the big winners in the 1946 elections, taking a total of 114 seats they ran a separate list in Slovakia. Not only was this the only time a Communist Party won a free election anywhere in Europe during the Cold War era, but it was one of only two free elections ever held in the Soviet bloc. Clement Gottwald, leader of the Kish, became Prime Minister of Czechoslovakia. However, thereafter, the Soviet Union was disappointed that the government failed to eliminate bourgeois influence in the army, expropriate industrialists and large landowners and eliminate parties outside of the National Front. Hope in Moscow was waning for a communist victory in the 1948 elections following a May 1947 Kremlin report concluded that reactionary elements 
Praising Western democracy had strengthened, following Czechoslovakia's brief consideration of taking Marshall Plan funds, and the subsequent scolding of Communist parties by the Cominform at Sklarska Poremba in September 1947, Rudolf Slansky returned to Prague with a plan for the final seizure of power, including the Sabs' elimination of party enemies and purging of dissidents. Thereafter, Soviet Ambassador Valerian Zorin arranged the Czechoslovak coup d'état, followed by the occupation of non communist ministers' ministries, while the army was confined to barracks. On 25 February 1948, Benes, fearful of civil war and Soviet intervention, capitulated and appointed a communist dominated government who was sworn in two days later. Although members of the other National Front parties still nominally figured, this was, for all intents and purposes, the start of out-and-out -out communist rule in the country. Foreign Minister Jan Masaryk, the only prominent minister still left who wasn't either a communist or fellow traveller, was found dead two weeks later. On 30 May, a single list of candidates from the National Front—now an organisation dominated by the communists—was elected to the National Assembly. After passage of the 9th of May Constitution on the 9th of June 1948, the country became a People's Republic until 1960. Although it was not a completely communist document, it was close enough to the Soviet model that Benes refused to sign it. He'd resigned a week before it was finally ratified, and died in September. The 9th of May Constitution confirmed that the Kish possessed absolute power, as other communist parties had in the Eastern Bloc. On the 11th of July 1960, the 1960 Constitution of Czechoslovakia was promulgated, changing the name of the country from the Czechoslovak Republic to the Czechoslovak Socialist Republic. Topic: 1960 to 1990. With the exception of the Prague Spring in the late 1960s, Czechoslovakia was characterized by the absence of democracy and competitiveness with the Western European nations as part of the Cold War. In 1969, the country became a federation of the Czech Socialist Republic and Slovak Socialist Republic. Under the federation, social and economic inequities between the Czech and Slovak halves of the state were largely eliminated. A number of ministries, such as education, were formally transferred to the two republics. However, the centralized political control by the Communist Party severely limited the effects of federalization. The 1970s saw the rise of the dissident movement in Czechoslovakia, represented among others, by Václav Havel. The movement sought greater political participation and expression in the face of official disapproval, making itself felt by limits on work activities up to a ban on any professional employment and refusal of higher education to the dissidents' children, police harassment and even prison time. In late 1989, the country became a democratic country again through the Velvet Revolution. In 1992, the federal parliament decided to split the country into the Czech Republic and Slovakia, as of 1 January 1993. Geography The Czechoslovak Socialist Republic was bounded on the west by West Germany and East Germany, on the north by Poland, on the east by the Soviet Union via the Ukrainian SSR and on the south by Hungary and Austria. Politics The Communist Party of Czechoslovakia Kish, led initially by first secretary Clement Gottwald, held a monopoly on politics. Following the 1948 Tito-Stalin split and the Berlin blockade, increased party purges occurred throughout the Eastern Bloc, including a purge of 550,000 party members of the Kish, which comprised 30% of its members. Approximately 130,000 people were sent to prisons, labor camps, and mines. The evolution of the resulting harshness of purges in Czechoslovakia, like much of its history after 1948, was a function of the late takeover by the communists, with many of the purges focusing on the sizable numbers of party members with prior memberships in other parties. The purges accompanied various show trials, including those of Rudolf Slansky, Vladimir Clementis, Ladislav Novomesky and Gustav Husik Clementis was later executed. Slansky and eleven others were convicted together of being Trotskyist Zionist Titoist Bourgeois Nationalist Traitors. 
In one series of show trials, after which they were executed and their ashes were mixed with material being used to fill roads on the outskirts of Prague, Antonin Novotny served as first secretary of the Kish from 1953 to 1968. Gustav Husik was elected first secretary of Kish in 1969, changed to general secretary in 1971, and president of Czechoslovakia in 1975. Other parties and organizations existed but functioned in subordinate roles to Kish. All political parties, as well as numerous mass organizations, were grouped under the umbrella of National Front of the Czechoslovak Socialist Republic. Human rights activists and religious activists were severely repressed. In terms of political positions, the Kish maintained the cadre and the nomenclatura lists, with the latter containing every post in each country that was important to the smooth application of party policy, including military posts, administrative positions, directors of local enterprises, social organization administrators, newspapers, etc. The Kish's nomenclatura lists were thought to contain 100,000 post listings. The names of those that the party considered to be trustworthy enough to secure a nomenclatura post were compiled on the cadre list. <inaudible> <inaudible> Heads of state and government List of presidents of Czechoslovakia List of prime ministers of Czechoslovakia Foreign relations Active participant in Council for Mutual Economic Assistance Comic-Con, Warsaw Pact, UN and its specialized agencies, and non-aligned movement, signatory of Conference on Security and Cooperation in Europe Topic. Administrative divisions 1960–1992 to 10 regions Krahe, Prague, and since 1970 Bratislava, divided in 109–114 districts Okrezi. .The Krahe were abolished temporarily in Slovakia in 1969–1970 and for many functions since 1991 in Czechoslovakia. In addition, the two republics Czech Socialist Republic and Slovak Socialist Republic were established in 1969. Topic. Economy The Czechoslovak economy was a centrally planned command economy with links controlled by the Communist Party, similar to the Soviet Union. It had a large metallurgical industry, but was dependent on imports for iron and non-ferrous ores. Like the rest of the Eastern Bloc, producer goods were favored over consumer goods, causing consumer goods to be lacking in quantity and quality. This resulted in shortage economies. Economic growth rates lagged well behind Czechoslovakia's Western European counterparts. Investments made in industry did not yield the results expected, and consumption of energy and raw materials was excessive. Czechoslovak leaders themselves decried the economy's failure to modernize with sufficient speed. Industry, extractive and manufacturing industries dominated sector. Major branches included machinery, chemicals, food processing, metallurgy, and textiles. Industry was wasteful of energy, materials, and labor and slow to upgrade technology, but was a source of high-quality machinery and arms for other communist countries. Agriculture, minor sector but supplied bulk of food needs. Dependent on large imports of grains mainly for livestock feed in years of adverse weather. Meat production constrained by shortage of feed, but high per capita consumption of meat. Foreign trade, exports estimated at $17.8 billion in 1985, of which 55% was machinery, 14% fuels and materials, and 16% manufactured consumer goods. Imports at estimated $17.9 billion in 1985, of which 41% was fuels and materials, 33% machinery, and 12% agricultural and forestry products. In 1986, about 80% of foreign trade was with communist countries. Exchange rate, official, or commercial, rate KC's 5.4 per $1 in 1987, tourist, or noncommercial, rate KC's 10.5 per $1. Neither rate reflected purchasing power. The exchange rate on the black market was around KC's 30 per $1, and this rate became the official one once the currency became convertible in the early 1990s. Fiscal year, calendar year. Fiscal policy, state almost exclusive owner of means of production. 
Revenues from state enterprises primary source of revenues followed by turnover tax. Large budget expenditures on social programs, subsidies, and investments. Budget usually balanced or small surplus. Topic. Resource base After World War II, the country was short on energy, relying on imported crude oil and natural gas from the Soviet Union, domestic brown coal, and nuclear and hydroelectric energy. Energy constraints were a major factor in 1980s. Topic. Demographics Topic. Society and social groups Homosexuality was decriminalized in 1962. Topic. Emigration Historically, emigration has always been an option for Czechs and Slovaks dissatisfied with the situation at home. Each wave of emigration had its own impetus. In the 19th century, the reasons were primarily economic. In the 20th century, emigration was largely prompted by political turmoil, though economic factors still played a role. The first major wave of emigration in the 20th century came after the communists came to power, and the next wave began after the Prague Spring was suppressed. In the 1980s, the most popular way to emigrate to the West was to travel to Yugoslavia by automobile and, once there, take a detour to Greece, Austria, or Italy Yugoslav border restrictions were not as strict as those of the Warsaw Pact nations. Only a small percentage of those who applied to emigrate legally could do so. The exact details of the process have never been published, but a reasonably clear picture can be gleaned from those who succeeded. It was a lengthy and costly process. Those applicants allowed to even consider emigration were required to repay the state for their education, depending on their level of education and salary, at a rate ranging from 4,000 cakes to 10,000 cakes. The average yearly wage was about cakes 33,600 in 1984. The applicant was likely to lose his job and be socially ostracized. Technically, at least, such emigres would be allowed to return for visits. Those who had been politically active, such as Charter 77 signatories, found it somewhat easier to emigrate, but they were not allowed to return and reportedly had to pay the state exorbitant fees, cakes 23,000 to as much as cakes 80,000, if they had graduated from a university. Old age pensioners had no problem visiting or emigrating to the West. The reasons for this were purely economic, if they decided to stay in the West, the state no longer had to pay their pension, there is and always was a huge discrepancy between official statistics, i.e. numbers issued by the communist regime, on how many people emigrated from Czechoslovakia and illegal refugee, statistics published by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees UNHCR. This discrepancy was not specific to Czechoslovakia only. A similar situation applied for all Eastern Bloc countries, as their totalitarian regimes preferred to downplay and suppress real numbers. Official statistics for the early 1980s show that, on the average, 3,500 people emigrated legally each year. From 1965 to 1983, a total of 33,000 people emigrated legally. This figure undoubtedly included a large number of ethnic Germans resettled in East Germany. The largest émigré communities are located in Austria, West Germany, the United States, Canada, and Australia. Unofficial figures are much larger. It is estimated that between 1948 and 1989 close to one million people left communist Czechoslovakia. The largest exoduses occurred following the communist takeover in February 1948 and following the Warsaw Pact occupation of Czechoslovakia in 1968, with around 200,000 people leaving in each wave. A very similar 200,000-strong refugee wave left Hungary in 1956 after their failed anti-communist revolution. In the 50s, when the regime was at its harshest and the Iron Curtain was close to impenetrable, emigration was very low. It increased between 1969 and 1989, when close to 40,000 people were leaving the country each year. All of them were sentenced to imprisonment in absentia by the communist regime for leaving the country illegally. Topic. Religion Religion was oppressed and attacked in the Czechoslovak Socialist Republic. 
In 1991, 46.4% were Roman Catholics, atheists made up 29.5%, 5.3% were Evangelical Lutherans, and 16.7% were N.A., but there were huge differences between the two constituent republics, see Czech Republic and Slovakia. Culture and society Health, social welfare and housing After World War II, free health care was available to all citizens. National health planning emphasized preventive medicine, factory and local health care centers supplemented hospitals and other inpatient institutions. Substantial improvement in rural health care in 1960s and 1970s. Topic mass media The mass media in Czechoslovakia was controlled by the Communist Party of Czechoslovakia Kish. Private ownership of any publication or agency of the mass media was generally forbidden, although churches and other organizations published small periodicals and newspapers. Even with this informational monopoly in the hands of organizations under Kish control, all publications were reviewed by the government's Office for Press and Information. Topic military topic See also Government structure of Communist Czechoslovakia Economy of Communist Czechoslovakia Resource base of Communist Czechoslovakia Society of Communist Czechoslovakia Health and Social Welfare in Communist Czechoslovakia Mass Media in Communist Czechoslovakia Prague Spring topic Notes topic References Bidelow, Robert, Jeffries, Ian 2007, A History of Eastern Europe, Crisis and Change, Routledge, ISBN 0-415-36626 7 Black, Cyril E., English, Robert D., Helmreich, Jonathan E., McAdams, James A. 2000, Rebirth, A Political History of Europe Since World War II, Westview Press, ISBN 0-8133-3664-3 Crampton, R. J. Eastern Europe in the Twentieth Century and After, Routledge, ISBN 0-415-16422-2 Dale, Gareth 2005, Popular Protest in East Germany, 1945–1989, Judgments on the Street, Routledge, ISBN 978-0-7146-5408-9 Frucht, Richard C. 2003, Encyclopedia of Eastern Europe, From the Congress of Vienna to the Fall of Communism, Taylor and Francis Group, ISBN 0-203-80109-1 Grenville, John Ashley Soames 2005, A History of the World from the 20th to the 21st Century, Routledge, ISBN 0-415 28954-8 Grenville, John Ashley Soames, Wasserstein, Bernard 2001, The Major International Treaties of the Twentieth Century, A History and Guide with Texts, Taylor & Francis, ISBN 0-415-23798-X Grogan, Robert C. 2001, Natural Enemies, The United States and the Soviet Union in the Cold War, 1917-1991, Lexington Books, ISBN 0 7391 one six zero nine Hart, John Pierce, Kaufman, Richard F. 1995, East Central European Economies in Transition, M. E. Sharp, ISBN 1-56324-612-0 Saxonberg, Stephen 2001, The Fall, A Comparative Study of the End of Communism in Czechoslovakia, East Germany, Hungary and Poland, Routledge, ISBN 90-5823-097-X Wettig, Gerhard 2008, Stalin and the Cold War in Europe, Roman and Littlefield, ISBN 0-7425-5542-9 External links RFE, RL Czechoslovakia Slovak Unit, Open Society Archives, Budapest. Czechoslovakia, Believe It or Not, a Pro-CSR text from 1986.